Good morning everybody, it's Chad from The Right Line and we're going to go work on the trailer again a little bit more today. Today specifically we're working on tongue weight. Stay tuned! Everybody, it's Chad. We're out here, we're going to work on the trailer and as I said before, we're going to talk about tongue weight today. Tongue weight meaning how much weight does that tongue put on the back of my vehicle? Let's figure it out. Because there's basically two ways to figure out what your tongue weight should be. The one is to take the total weight of the trailer, put all that into an equation, and it'll tell you how much weight should be on the tongue, i.e. where the axle should be underneath the trailer. The problem is that if the axle is too far to the back of the trailer, you have too much tongue weight. If the axle is too far to the front of the trailer, then there's less tongue weight on the uh, vehicle that you're towing and the trailer will tend to drive the back of the vehicle. It can make a really unsafe situation. The second method that I found was the 60-40 rule. 60-40 rule means that 60% of the weight of the trailer, including the length of the tongue, should be in front of the axle and the 40% of that should be behind. Let's see what we got. So the total length of my trailer, including the tongue, is 139 inches. 60% of that is 83.4 inches. So right now, my trailer's axle is positioned at 101.5 inches. What that equates to is about 72%. Ideally, you want about 60 to 80 pounds of tongue weight on the back of your vehicle basically about 70 pounds if you kind of figure that out. Let's see what the tongue weight is of this trailer. So for this we're going to use just a basic bathroom scale. A hundred and thirty three pounds tongue weight. That's just a wee bit too much. The solution to that problem is to take this trailer axle and move it forward to about 83.4. 83.4 inches from the tongue to the back of the trailer. That's going to be 60% of the tongue, excuse me, 60% of the trailer weight ahead of the axle. It's not hard work, but it's also going to take some time. Basically, we've got to cut the fenders off. We've got to cut the spring hangers in the front and in the rear on both sides, and we're going to move the trailer forward. Move the trailer axle forward. Made quick work of those fenders. I'm gonna just kind of play around and experiment with this. I've already got the uh, axle cut free from the trailer. I got the fenders removed, same on both sides. And all I'm gonna do here is just measure the tongue weight, just as a test, sort of, right? All I'm gonna do is lift the tongue and put the tongue back on top of the scale and see what my tongue weight is. I've moved the axle from 101.5 to 84-ish. Whoa, I moved that forward way too far. Let's move it back a little bit. Okay, right there, it's at 90. It was at 84 and a half, or 84 inches before. Now it's at 90, let's see what it looks like. And this is 92 inches. Oh, 75 pounds, I'm pretty happy with that. And as far into the demolition, I guess you could call it, as I can go. So I'm just gonna replace all four perches and all four bolts and the little plastic insert that goes inside the leaf spring. Oh, now, running over to my favorite Napa store to go see my buddy Ed. We are at our favorite auto parts store. We're gonna go and see our buddy Ed and get all of our trailer parts. We'll be back in a moment. Sadly, Ed took the day off. Oh well. But anyways, we got some of our parts. We got the stationary shackle mount, leaf spring mounts, and the new hardware with the sleeves that go inside the leaf springs. The other two mounts, the rear road mounts, were the uh, shackle plates, the movable shackle plates. Uh, that mount they didn't have, they have to order, so we're probably gonna have to come back to this later this afternoon and come get them. Let's go get to work. I did.
other parts that have to go back on the trailer, they're all cleaned up, they're ready to get back on. The only problem is I'm waiting for a pair of my leaf spring mounts to come in for the back, uh, the back of the leaf spring to go into the trailer. They should be in at about one o'clock. So, while we're waiting, we're gonna go just around the corner here to a place called Superstition Hobby, here, and they just so happen to have an indoor rock crawling course. We're gonna go check it out.
Oh no, I leave every bit of it in there. Okay. <laughs> I do a lot of editing, hey, don't worry. Fix it, shit sucks. everybody what a great day of work on the trailer I was really happy with how things turned out it is a little hot out here but the swamp cooler made it a little bit more tolerable I uh, was able to move this axle forward 10 inches and so that changed the tongue weight from about 113 I think it was to 72 so much easier to manage um, I don't think it'll tow quite so heavy uh, or feel quite like it's quite so heavy. Did I was even able to save the fenders uh, and reuse those? I didn't have to buy new. Added those bars back in for support. Even an, an additional bar on either side that'll help kind of carry the weight of the rooftop tent and such. So I need to fix the wires now because now the lights are 10 inches further forward. You know, really at this point, um, aside from just a little work on the wires, um, you know, I can start wearing it work. I can start working on getting it cleaned up, get all the surfaces nice and ready uh, for paint. Let's see, this is be video number six, so maybe that'll be Overland Trailer Build uh, Part 7. Coming up with the trailer, um, you know, other really than going through the wheel bearings, races, seals, I want to do all of that before I consider towing this really anywhere. I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, if you're finding me for the first time, please consider liking and sharing. Uh, commenting, uh, subscribing. So I'm glad you could hang out with us today. I hope you enjoyed Superstition Hobby. My son and I, <laughs> my son and I love going to that place. It's really fun. They're an awesome place to buy parts for your RC trucks and that track is awesome. We had a really great time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.